Yeah, yeah, no. Go! Oh, we got no time to take a break. We have moving over to the second match. We've got ASM CT versus Soul X Chase Deluxe versus Soul X. And these two characters, uh, one of them for sure has been showing a lot. Mars has been putting so much work into the CSS, but the confirmed doesn't get the sweet spot though, so no spike, unfortunately. Soul X is gonna get away with this life with that side special. It's gonna clip him. He's trying to jump from the ledge. But Daisy, he just needs to find some way to get in. He just needs a combo to get this game started. But unfortunately for him, he's not gonna find it. And these side specials are actually forcing out these bad options from Lux. And Lux doing a great job so far. That match is gonna get parried into the golf club. Such a good move coming in right now. Just gonna keep moving forward. And that fair is gonna be missing out as well. So Soul X is actually finally able to get some stage control. So Lux is gonna have a little bit of a struggle. These low cancels from Soul are gonna be forcing into these bad situations. Any great fair or fair is gonna force him off stage, but gets clipped up by the up air. No kill just yet. 128%. Soul X has got plenty of rage to deal with, and these beer bristles from Lux are making sure that Soul X constantly questions it. And a big whiff, no up smash punish with that whiff up and once again, that's sure gonna be the stock and the golf of since chase the Lux right into the air. It's just, a, it's just a really bad option. Soul X got, I don't know, he had, he had was in the dispense for such a long time and messing up that big punish window. That could have been a down tilt into a big combo, maybe 50% with this rage, but that side special could have been so much respect. He's able to recover successfully and read out the side special. Jason Lux seems to be coming in all the single time, and here comes the combo. 47% already like that. 55 with that up bear. This is the power of Daisy. And he's able to get the damage off, but thankfully is able to snuff it out. That up bear chain forcing out something with that black hair. Forcing it out once more, but then actually the tether grab gonna be coming in clutch there, able to grab Soul X out of the air. But Lux seems to be grasping at straws right now. It's not looking too good for him. Right now, he lands the grab once more. The floor throw is the tech situation. Great catch on it, but no follow up on that nair. So unable to get any punish anytime soon. He does get the jab, but it's gonna get carried out, and it's so fast, so unable to get a punish. So Soul X actually has. Uh, he's gonna turn up on board. Wide eyes and air. Apparently missing out. So it's not going to look too good for him right now. Float cancel there as well. Soul X is doing a great job just walling him out, forcing Lux into these off stage positions where he definitely doesn't want to be. He's also doing a great job forcing Lux to go for these up out of shields. And for the first two times he's actually done them, they've not hit their mark. And the second time he got punished with the stock, and so much has been running away with it. But the side special doesn't kill just yet, though. Lux is going super deep. With this edge grab on unable to find the dare usage as well. Nothing to be done. The grab as well, knowing that Lux is going to shield. In a really bad situation, Soul is just zoning it out. These airs are really good. You would think that would only be for Luigi with the jab. Such a fast move, one of the best jabs in this game. And Ash gets hit with the teacher, but the counter comes into play. Soul gonna go ahead and send the spores right into Lux's face. And the grab lands the fourth throw once more. I've yet to see Lux get a Nair confirmed into a, a boost kick. Not boost kick, it's a down special. The flip kick, I should say. So unable to find it, he's really looking for it, but a great job by Soul X stalling near the ledge, making sure that he's gonna get hit for a punish. And no re-grab onto the ledge. 163, he just needs an attack and that fairy to get plenty of damage out, but finally the side special does clip from Soul X and Lux are evened up on the stocks. There are many options coming to play. Actually throws up the turnip and goes for the re-grab. He went for an aerial, but unable to find it. Soul X, he's on a roll right now, running right over Lux, and Lux, great job in the defensive options, making sure to tilt the show up to avoid it, but that fair, the turnip into fair confirmed, into another one. He's able to finally get back that fair. He misses again, but the up air surely does catch him out. 132%, Soul X finally takes some damage into the re-grab. Can Lux clutch this out? It's not looking too good. And finally gets away from it, the up smash baited out, it's gonna get shielded, but it's so low. Here it comes, the Nair into the- it doesn't sweet spot, that's horrible! And he gets the down here, is that gonna kill? Oh my goodness, and the pop-off coming in! Lux actually got the kill off of that down air!
It was an all for nothing play, and he finally pulled it out. My goodness. Him finally able to get that kill. My goodness, it just looked horrible, but finally Lux was able to clutch it out. One more fist bump for the next one. And we're moving on to the next map. So this should be, uh, this is a great job by Solex picking this stage. It gives him more room to work with, more room to use the turnouts and able to extend these combos more. He's able to go for these float cancels and he's ready to do job pairing it and here comes the re-grab. Forcing it down into the back here. And actually misses but force it into a tech situation that Lux wasn't expecting. So he's gonna get an extra 5%, 66. He's doing such a good job, runs up in shields, but Lux does realize that and hits him with a jab. It's such a good move, interrupting it. And that back here gonna demand so much base, the flip kick. Back on to the turnips once more. Great catch from Sol, not from Sol, it's from Chase. Go ahead and force him in these tech situations in the tech case. So that's for sure why he's going for these four throws. That down throw. Oh my god, it got murdered on CSS in this game. It's just not one of the throws that you want to be using. And barely dodges down, but the cancel bears are so good from Soul. It's forcing Lux into a bad situation, and that bear is going to get eaten up. Soul X flexing a little bit. Using those aerials with the chain coming in. He finally misses the bear. That could have been it if he hit it, but the side pusher does clip him out. What can Lux do to end this stock? And he goes with the bear, but it does miss the boost kick. Saves himself from the recovery, but my goodness, the F tilt. It's not looking too good for Chase the Lux. He just needs to make sure he takes no damage whatsoever, or else it's not gonna be looking good right now. Going for these really sick air, going really deep for these edge guards. My goodness, I'm fumbling with my words that board throw once more. And the side special baiting it out. The neutral get a pot out Soul X. Unable to get any damage on Lux, this is looking really good, but here's as I speak, guess these combos also able to flip kick just away from it, 39% only. It could have been much worse, that's what Chase the Lux is saying to himself, but Soul baits out the down air, but misses the tilt confirm. Unable to find anything, but the stitch is out, what's the situation? That stitch is gonna do massive damage. What is he going to do? He's baiting it out. He tried to throw it, but the jab actually interrupted it. So X, he throws it out, but gets nothing from there. So all the pressure is off Lux. This is your opportunity to shine. He does get the jab. That's the best option you got. Is able to flip kick away from that situation. And we got the winky face turn up, but no follow up. That bear making that shield a little smaller. So Lux needs to be really careful with this situation. He does catch it out and actually hits him with the Zare as well. But no follow up. Soul forcing Lux in off stage in a bad position to flip kick. Oh, it. It had the landing hitbox, but it was the ghost hitbox. Able to find anything, and that bear gonna get shielded. Lux going for the Harbin on the down smash, but unable to find anything in return. Forcing in the situation up here, finally clips it out. Lux on her last stock, on his last stock. My goodness. Soul doing a really good control of the match. I was feeling a little worried, but here we go. The down tilt leading into it, the grab as well. That back air, 62%. That's why Daisy is so, so destructive. Why she's considered one of the best characters in this game. Doing the best that she can, baits out the grab, it's so slow, it's so easily punishable, but it was in the air, so nothing you can do, 90%, already evening up the percent as well, Soul X doing such a great job. Woo. He's moving on for it, both shielding together, we looking like Smash 4 neutral right now, but is able to get away, Lux trying to land the up airs, but can't chain them together, it's too high a percent, and the up smash, not the sweet spot, Soul X, He's chaining it up. What can Lux do to land using the down there? And the L smash misses once more. The shield looking so small. The down tilt as well. Solex, he just wants to finish the stock, but Lux in such a bad position. What can he be possibly doing? He's trying to go for the same option with the forward throw. What the edge guard? He misses the side special. This is looking worse and worse for him. Going for these options. Finally lands the grab, but is it too little, too late? Soul X. Still hasn't lost his stock, and he's at a percent advantage. He finally hits him with that back air. So that is going to be it for game number two. Great job by Soul X, who was able to really control that match. Was able to use it in his favor. Those float cancels were on point, following up with those turnups. So doing a great job controlling it. It just felt like that Lux barely clutched it out on that first game. Is now paying the price. Not being able to analyze and Soul X seems to get a perfect read on him. Oh, that. Yeah. So back at the mic, we've got T3 Dome. He's back for game number three.
Three, two, welcome, welcome. One, go. Welcome back. Back Thank on you. the mic. So right now, we have uh, Chris Lux with the Soul Exit. And right now, Soul X starting off with a pretty hot combo in these split cancels. So Daisy and Peach, there's a lot of arguments for being the best character in the game. Right. Do you agree with that? Do I agree? She's, I don't think she's the best, but she's definitely top five. Top five? All right. Definitely top five. So that's the take for T3 Dome. You can ask him on Twitter whether you agree with him or not. <laughs> For sure, for sure. Uh, but it seems that uh, right in this game, Soul X did such a good job controlling the match, and Lux felt overwhelmed, but Lux was actually able to clutch out game number one with an offstage down air mm -hmm. on their last stop. Really? Yeah, so it was an all for nothing play, but I was able to get it. And also, Pretty CSS. Clutch. There's a lot of arguments for CSS, but Being definitely. What? Top, uh, top tier? Yeah, but is it really just Mars carrying it? And also getting hit with that back air, that's also not going to be too good. I don't think so. I, I don't remember who it was, but there was a top player that made a video about ZSS arguably being better than in Smash 4. Really? Yes. And I, I think it had something to do with the fact that even though her, um, she doesn't have the up or the upper, upper, up ladder combo like she used to, that was kind of like her main gimmick. Yeah. Now, now she has like multiple tools that can, for example, cover neutral getup, like down smash, uh, laser, and um, the side special as well. Right, and the side special as well that can kill. And she's she's so much stronger in terms of killing off the side. And the fact that she's been gifted with a berry, which is inherently good in the game. Uh oh, I think oh it's no, SD. Soul X. Yeah. SD. Well, hopefully he can shake that off and uh, carry the momentum to take out this game because yeah, he does have a lead. If there's one person shaking off, it's Soul X because he got robbed in game number one and was able to really bring it back in game number two, controlling it with a two stock. And here we go, 89% on Lux. He just needs to control the match. He's able to get these grabs. I like the right. use of Zare, though. I, I, it, from from what it looks like, uh, uh, Lux has been doing a great job of, in, when he's in advantage, tra ledge trapping him. Like, look at all this pressure he's applying to Solex, and it feels like he Solex is immediately choosing an option. And I think if he mixes up the timings, he'll be able to escape disadvantage a lot, mm -hmm. uh, a lot better. Because many times we actually seen Solex, he immediately goes for the neutral getup, and that side special actually clips him out, and that's a stock already right. gone. Right. Neutral neutral getup is definitely something to avoid. Obviously. Uh, jump, roll, or a lot of the other options aren't that great either. You have to time Ooh. your get-up. That was a very strong fair. He read that he was going to go for the ledge for, for the invincibility because, of course, it's uh, the ledge provides security at least for a few seconds that you're there. Yeah, but it's not mainly where that ledge is going. No, the ledge stalling. I'm glad they got rid of that. Yeah, and, and the ledge hogging. H-box, H-box, pioneering the meta, pioneering the meta. But here we go. Lux needs to find a way to secure so the So he's stock. in disadvantage again. Mm -hmm. Okay, jumping was a pretty good uh, idea over... Um, because her... CSS's short range options, or long range options, are mainly grounded. Yeah, but he doesn't need to worry about that when Solix is interrupting you in the air with these up airs. The float cancels are looking so good for Sol, and goes with the dash attack as well, unable to find anything with the Sol back in the corner, and a nice up out of shield. I did not realize that was an interaction. Yeah, I thought a side special was really safe on the right. shield, but great oh, job. Oh, he catches right the there. landing with the fair. Yeah. That was great stuff by Sol X, and so he's going to be advancing to the next round of winners. Mm -hmm. Sol X doing a great job in that match, Lux. He had those moments where he was in advantage and Solex felt way overwhelmed, but right. Solex was just able to finally get around it and he was able to pull up those nasty commas because remember, Daisy can take you from 0 to 45. So Almost fast. definitely. Yeah. Oh, man. And we got Tater. Oh, we might see some hero action coming up. Is that Tater? Uh, yes, Tater, Tater's been working on the hero, I've heard. Uh, oh, I haven't seen it in action, so this will be exciting. Okay, well, I think this is definitely a hot take. About since you're, hero. Since you're, so yeah, since you're a top player. I, I've put in a decent amount of time into hero mm -hmm. myself, so and 